What's up, people? Welcome to this week in sports with J.K. Lee. Y'all having fun? Because I know I am. Y'all know I love the camera. But anyway, it was a huge week for sports in the 225. So let's get right to it. The first game took us to Dutchtown where the Griffins battled the McKinley Panthers. Dutchtown entered the game coming off back-to-back -back losses. They have been looking a little shaky in recent weeks. But as long as they got number seven and number 21, they will always be competitive. Senior running back Baylor Langlois kicked off the scoring for the Griffins with a two yard run for a score, giving his squad a seven to nothing lead. University of Tennessee commit Dylan Sampson looked at his teammate Baylor Langlois and said, whatever you can do, I can do better. Man, number 21 scampered in for a 14 yard touchdown run, giving the Griffins a 14 to nothing lead halfway through the first quarter. But hold up, hold up. The Panthers wasn't going away that easy. Royce Handy put McKinley on the scoreboard when he intercepted a pass and took it back 15 yards for a pick six. Y'all know I love them pick sixes. But then, Baylor Langor proceeded to go on a terror. He scored two more touchdowns, putting the game out of reach. The Griffins rolled in this one, 41 to six. It was a must win situation for Dutchtown, and the Griffins got the dub. Way to go, fellas. The next game featured two 5A powerhouses, the Zachary Broncos and the Skylandville Hornets. As y'all remember, I picked the Zachary Broncos to win this game, even though it broke my heart. And unfortunately for the Hornets, early on, it looked like I was right. The Broncos jumped out to a 24 to nothing lead behind the player Texas A&M commit Eli Holstein and ULL commit Charles Robinson. But I know the Hornets very well. Man, they wasn't gonna tuck their tails and run. They just ain't built like that. They gonna stay and fight. And plus they have this guy named Chance Williams, also known as Lamborghini Deuce. And this dude is fast. I'm talking fast, 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 fast. <laughs> he hit Zachary with a 75 yard kickoff return for a touchdown that gave the Hornets some life. Lamborghini Deuce added a 27 yard touchdown reception from quarterback Zay T. Set. But man, it wasn't enough. As the Zachary Broncos rolled the victory behind solid defense and two touchdowns by Cameron Stewart. In the end, Zachary got the dub 48 to 32. Man, they still undefeated. Man, them Broncos scary. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show. J.K. Lee Sports Crystal Ball Predictions. Man, I already know the Liberty Madness student section gonna be cutting up when the Bad Lab Bengals come to town. I'm really nervous about this pick because I'm real good friends with Coach Wade at Bad Lab and Coach Trust Clad Liberty. Man. I'm going to go with Coach Wade and the Bad Lab Bengals. I, that's who I'm going with. Now look, y'all better not embarrass me. Y'all better show up and do y'all did it. Well, that's it for this week. Always remember to follow me on all of my social media platforms. J.K. Lee Sports. Holla.